Hi, I'm Paige Pierce with Sportsman's Warehouse, and today I want to show you how to paper tune your bow. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is why is that important? Well, paper tuning ensures that your arrow leaves your bow perfectly straight and flies nice and straight down to the target. If your bow is improperly paper tuned, what you're going to have is a nice straight tip and the back end of the arrow will go either right, left, up, or down. Now, with a target tip, you can get away with a little bit of inconsistency, inconsistency, but with a broadhead, it is incredibly important that you have a perfect bullet hole and perfect arrow flight, otherwise it will be very inconsistent. So with that said, let's take a look at the paper and I'm going to show you a few paper tears and then show you how to adjust your rest. So the first one here that I'm going to show you is a bullet hole. That is what you want. What happened, the arrow went straight through the target and you see the three perfect cuts from the veins that show that the front of the arrow and the back of the arrow went through the paper in the same spot. Now if you look at this tear here, the front of the arrow went through the paper here, but the back of the arrow kicked high and right as it went through the paper. So how you would fix that is actually move your rest to the left. So the rule for moving your rest left and right when you're paper tuning. If you're tearing right, move it left. If you're tearing left, move it right. You always go the opposite direction. Now, I would also recommend to adjust whichever way the tear is the most wrong first. So the right tear is much larger than the tear is high, so I'm gonna fix the left and right first, then I'm gonna worry about the little bit of high tear. So if you look over here, this is an example of a high left tear. So on this one, I would go ahead and move my rest to the right, and then once I fix the right and left, then I have a little bit of a high tear, and this rule is different. For up and down paper tears, you're going to move your rest the same way that the fletchings tore. So with a high tear like this, I'm gonna go ahead and move my rest up. And if I had a low tear or the fletchings kicked down, then I'm gonna move my rest down. Now the last piece that you guys need to understand is that to have a proper paper tear, you also need the proper arrow spine. If no matter what you do, you cannot get the paper tear out of your bow, it is probably because you're using the improper arrow spine. At that time, it's time to reevaluate, possibly test a different spine arrow, and you might notice that that one shoots a bullet hole much easier than what you are currently working with. I really hope that this helps you know how to paper tune and understand why it is so important. If you do have any more questions or you would like help paper tuning your bow, head into your local sportsman's warehouse and they'll be able to help you out. Thank <laughs> you.